Welcome back. Today I want to talk about this application called Playnight. It is actually a program that can see your entire game library installed on your computer, whether it's Steam, Epic, GOG, emulators, as far as I know it can see also. But right now it's only a Windows only application. But this program it is open source, it is under the MIT license, but currently only on Windows. As you can see here, it is in, under an MIT license, the source code is available. So this is something I've been keeping an eye on for a while. Since it is open source, there have been people that have asked for it to be cross-platform for Mac OS and Linux. I mean, Honestly, I don't see a purpose in putting it on Mac OS, but you know, neither here nor there. But as you can see, when people have asked, you know, this is back in 2017, no planned in near future. Okay, you could click that, but he did say, he said he's leaving this one open because he doesn't want it to be a, def a definitive no. It's just not possible at the moment. So, He's looked into different uh, UI interfaces and things like that, you know, and more people have commented, you know, and you go down even more, you know, the .NET 3.0 will not make WPF multi-platform. Okay, so that's the issue. It is a WPF application, which is .NET based, and he was thinking to uh, use Core instead of Framework, but they only run on Windows. Now, Microsoft did open source WPF. Microsoft's been open sourcing quite a bit of things. And honestly, I think it's because Microsoft is honestly, you know, not really <laughs> writing code. I mean, seeing it, I've heard rumors that 30% of the code in Windows 11 is written by AI, which would explain why Windows 11 is having so many issues lately in the few past few months. So that's been open sourced. Okay. And this is the main maintainer of the program so you know it'll be that person doing the majority of the work now he goes over porting the ui you know that's some of the big work that needs to be done however when you go down a little bit further he does talk about updating to dotnet 8 and avalonia is being done together in play night 11 so when play night 11 is finished it's gonna be running using this Avalonia framework here. This is the future of .NET user interface. This is multi-platform and it is an open source WPF successor. It's great, it's open source. Now the key thing with this developer, the reason I do believe they are going to bring this to Linux is if you go down here for the 2025 update, he said upcoming major release P P11, will be on modern, open source, and multi-platform .NET runtime, but will still use Windows-only WPF-based UI. Now, he does go over this stuff, but it does say we are 100% moving to Avalonia at some point in the future. It's just not going to be with Play Night 11 release. So the current plan is to release Play Night 11, continue developing it for Windows only, and once Avalonia's DX improves, they are promising major tools improvements with their upcoming Accelerate program. And he says, I will start porting P11 to Avalonia. Once we have a polished Windows version on Avalonia-based Play Night, I will start working on Linux version. I don't want to make just straight port of the Windows version, that wouldn't be good enough. I would really like to have Linux specific feature available on release like Wine, Proton specific features, Epic GOG plugins, using legendary and heroic GOG DL respectively, stuff like that. So this legendary stuff and this heroic GOG stuff, those are two things that are part of a heroic game launcher which is something I use for all of my Epic games, which I only have the ones I've downloaded for free, and all of my GOG games. But he does say, to sum this up, Linux version is definitely something I plan to work on in the future. It's just going to happen later than originally planned. As for Mac OS version, no idea about that. 
It's definitely not something I would look into sooner than having the Linux version more or less done. So the Linux version is going to come first and that's understandable because actually Linux is has a higher percentage of use on Steam than Mac OS does. But then you scroll to his last post. He says, I'm planning to move to Linux in 2026 after P11 is done. And since Playnight is my personal blocker for that move, I will try to make some Linux version in 2026. Definitely not fully featured version on parity with Windows version of P11 and probably desktop mode only. So if you run it on Steam Deck or upcoming Steam Machine, you will need to go into desktop mode to use it. But something daily drivable with Linux specific features, Wine Proton integration. Okay, if that goes well, I'll start looking into P11 Avalonia porting proper, say I mentioned in previous updates. So this is something I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to because the Heroic Games Launcher devs have said they have no plans on allowing Heroic Game Launcher to see your Steam library. There are other game launchers, obviously, under Linux that can see your Steam games. But for the time being, you know, this is something I do. This is something I'm actually excited for is this play night just to have install all my apps from steam or using heroic unless he gets the full stuff integrated into this where you could see the store otherwise i can install everything with all the other launchers and then open just this to actually play the games and possibly manage them you know manage proton versions possibly look forward for future updates on this program this is something we're going to keep an eye on until maybe there's a alpha or a beta available of it. So we'll see. Let me know your comments, what you think of this Play Night app uh, coming to Linux. I do know there is a few, quite a few Linux people that have been asking for this program. I haven't tested it under Windows because I don't have Windows on my system anymore. But let me know in the comments what you think uh, of any other store launchers that you think are good under Linux that are fairly good to use. I could take a look at some of them, but like, subscribe, comment below, share the video, and I will see you next time. Later.